Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and I'm really excited today to talk about addressing your fixtures. So we're in the 30 days to becoming a lighting ninja and in this video I'm just going to talk about DMX addressing your fixtures, okay? So we've decided where to put our fixtures, we've talked about consoles and sent you uh, more information to go deeper into that. And so now let's talk about our fixtures and uh, how to address them. And addressing at its core is simply telling the fixtures where to listen for DMX signal. Okay, so it's telling your fixtures where to listen for DMX signal. And then the second part of it is telling your console where your fixtures are. And so depending on your console, it can go either way. If you're using like an Obey 40, then the console is going to dictate where the fixtures go, um, being that they're set slots at like 1, 16, 33, or 1, 17, 33, etc. But with most PC-based consoles, you're actually going to want to patch the fixtures first in the console and then on the light themselves. And so um, the various consoles that I've mentioned um, in the last video, I'm going to link below to all the patching videos on those so we don't have to go through all that here, um, but you can still get up to that. But then when it comes to addressing your fixture, uh, so go watch that for your console if you haven't already, and then come back. And when it comes to addressing your fixture, there's going to be one of two options. There's going to be most likely a screen like you see here on this display, just an LCD or LED display with a menu up, down, enter probably. Um, this particular fixture, the Chave uh, 4 bar, only has menu up and down. At least the old ones only had that. A lot of fixtures have an enter, but regardless, in these typical setups, you basically go, you say, okay, what's my DMX address need to be? Maybe it needs to be 15, okay? And so I'll go menu till I see um, address or something like that. Again, you're, you're going to want to consult your fixtures manual, and it's going to tell you what to look for in that menu to get to the address function. Then you'll probably hit enter um, at that point. Again, this one doesn't have an enter. Um, I think you hit menu again, but you may hit up or down to scroll through those menu options as well. Again, check your fixtures manual because that's going to give you the best information on that, on um, those specifics. And so then you're going to go ahead and uh, just press up till you get to 15. Sometimes you can hold it. It'll go faster. Sometimes they've got algorithms for speeding up and slowing down, um, usually on more expensive fixtures. Find that number, press enter. Um, if that doesn't work, follow what's in your fixtures manual, but that's that's usually how these things work, okay? And at that point, you should be able to go to your console and get control of this light. And you can do that with all your lights and then test and make sure that you've got control. Now, say you go ahead and you've got an old light like this uh, cheap LED and it's got dip switches on it, okay? You can probably see that there. It's got these little tiny switches that um, are upside down. These little tiny switches that set the DMX address. How, how do these things work? Well, they're pretty simple as well. They just involve a little math. Um, a lot of fixtures will help you out on this. This one doesn't. So the first thing we have is the function side, okay? And, and your fixture may or may not have this, but this is going to put the fixture into DMX mode or standalone mode and so you're going to need to look at your manual to find the correct way to set that for DMX mode. This particular fixture it's one and three on, two and four in the off position. Now I can tell where the on position is because it's noted that there's an on and it's the opposite of where the numbers are. Most of the time your dip switches are going to have that. I've run into a few really cheap fixtures that don't have that, that just have the numbers and no on, and you kind of have to guess and you might get it upside down the first time. If it doesn't work, switch it. Then, on the address side of things, there's going to be nine switches. Notice there's ten here. So, fixture ten actually puts it into a DMX mode as well, I believe, on this particular fixture. Um, so that's important. But the nine switches correspond to numbers in DMX, and then you just add them together to get the total address. And the numbers are, are binary. They double each time. So if you've got a fixture like this, it's just 1, 2, then the third one is 4, then you know 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. And you just add them up together. So 
I could add 256 and 1 and 2, and that's going to be 259 as the DMX start address. And, and that's exactly how it works. You just grab yourself a little screwdriver like this, thanks to the nice people in Relation for sending me this, and, uh, you know, or in a pinch, a pen, but that can, you know, mark up your, your dip switches all nasty. And grab a little screwdriver like this, and you're able to address those quickly and easily. So that wraps up addressing. Once you've got those fixtures addressed, you're now ready to start diving into the console. And so in the next few videos, uh, through a lot of the rest of this month, I'm going to go through some console stuff. We're going to be spending a lot of time in the console showing you how to use consoles and how to work with lights visually. So I'm really excited for this, and I hope you guys come back tomorrow to check out grouping your fixtures. So until then, make sure you subscribe. And if you've been enjoying this so far, Share this on Facebook, on your YouTube account, wherever, with somebody else who, who might be interested in what we're doing here. It's going to be 30 days of these short videos, and I want to make sure everybody can see it who wants to. So definitely share that and uh, subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss a thing, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.